Hi, Nicole Red Miles here. Thanks again for joining me on my vlog. So I have been uh, craving television because, as I've said before, I live in the middle of nowhere now and it's really hard to stream. Uh, but I found a spot in my room where I get 4G and I can just crouch in this very peculiar spot and uh, watch television. So. In the course of two days, I finished season one and season two of Mozart in the Jungle, which I have been wanting to watch forever. And I just gotta say, good show. It is such a good show. Um, I love Gail Garcia. He is a fantastic actor. Um, and just everybody in it was so good. The music was so good. And it's funny how when you watch different shows, um, you all of a sudden want to start, you know, being like those characters and stuff like that. So uh, recently now I'm on this kick where um, I feel like I should play an instrument. And um, I, I've been there, done that. I took guitar lessons from a friend back in high school and uh, was horrible at it. Uh, he was a great teacher. I was a horrible student. And I took piano lessons back in elementary school and I am just not meant to play a musical instrument. Sorry, I gotta throw this to my dog. Except the vocal cords. I pride myself on my voice isn't horrible. I'm on this kick where I... So I've always loved the violin. The violin and cello. Hands down my two favorite instruments. Um, and I just really, really, really... That's all I've been listening to now is uh, different classical music and stuff like that because I'm on this huge kick for the show. The only thing, my only complaint about the show is um, it's not long enough. The, the episodes. I, I guess I'm so used to like the hour-long episodes and my dog really wants attention right now. Hey, baby. I'm really... I'm gonna pick her up real quick. She's being such a pain. I'm... <laughs> I'm really used to like those hour-long episodes in shows and it's, you know, only like 28 minutes long an episode. So I have to say, that is my one complaint. It's kind of aggravating because I feel like you know, you're just getting into the plot of the story, you're just getting into what's going on in that episode, and then it's over. And I love, though, that they take time to still um, have these quiet and complex, simple, you know, scenes that aren't heavy on action or heavy on dialogue. They're just very, you know, simple and beautiful to watch, uh, which I think is probably very hard to do in such a short episode. So that is my one complaint. I hope season three, I mean, they've gotten a format down, so they'll probably stick with it, but I would love it if they could make the episodes a little bit longer. Um, right before this show, I was watching Mr. Robot, which I have Amazon Prime, and um, the only season up right now is season one, because season two is airing now, and um, such a strong first season. I mean, that show is just absolutely it's so great. It's a great crazy ride too. Like, I mean, anyone who's watched it, you get to that point where you're just as confused as he is and then it's such as you just figure it out and it's just ugh, so great. But my kick with that show was I all of a sudden thought I was a hacker, you know, so I started doing research on the uh, deep web and all that stuff. But uh, if you know me, you know I have no computer skills. So that was a very short-lived dream. But yeah, I all of a sudden thought I was a hacker and I was going around speaking in you know, speaking about Torrent and uh, Thor, you know, and uh, Onion, you know, yeah, yeah, speaking the basic terms of it all. I thought I would get on Reddit for a minute, even though that's um, not really the deep web or anything, but even that's too complicated for me. Um, yeah, but that was very short-lived, yeah listen to that classical music all the time. I might lay some down on the bottom of this just because I'm in that that feeling right now. Um, one thing, if anyone's watched it, uh, I need to look this up because it was kind of bothering me. Um, I don't know the actor's name, but in season one, the guy who played Mozart um, was the guy from, uh, what's that show called? My Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, right? I think that's who it is. I need to look this up because I could be wrong. So then in season two, they changed the guy, the actor who plays him. At least that's what I think, but I could be wrong. He's only in like two small short clips, but it kind of bothered me a little bit only because they had different voices. So the second guy slightly sounded like he had like a, like a New York accent a little bit, but again, um, I could be wrong on all that. So don't take my word for it, but that kind of threw me off a little, but it I mean, they probably, if it is the same guy, they're probably gonna get him because that show's doing very well, My Crazy Ex Girlfriend. So, probably very busy with that show. But, really good show. I recommend it. 
Uh, leave a comment below if you've watched it, what you think of it. Uh, do you love classical music? Do you not? What do you think of Mr. Robot? Are you an awesome hacker out there who can do awesome things on the computer? Scary things though, you know? Like, what was it just a little bit ago? Um, Wendy's? Somewhere. I forget where it was. But Wendy's. Um, like over a thousand or a hundred uh, credit cards that were used there got hacked. I mean, that's scary that there are people out there who have that ability. I mean, that's kind of awesome. Like, it would be great if they used that knowledge for good, like in Mr. Robot. Um, well, you can argue if it's good or not. But, uh, yeah, so leave a comment below. Thanks for joining me, and come again, please.